what's up? Ken from Palm Beach Dino here. We've got an awesome F-150 video for you guys today. Robert brought us his 2022 Shelby F-150 Super Snake. It comes with a Whipple, but we did a bunch of upgrades, including a Joker's ported supercharger, a new fuel system, and our refined flex fuel tune to handle this thing on any fuel you put in it. Let's go ahead and watch the very first dyno pull, and then we'll go over the details of this build. So first off, let's talk about the Shelby truck in general. It's an awesome package, it's beautiful, the interior is great, and it comes with a Whipple 3.0 liter blower. Now, of course, any vehicle that you buy straight from the factory is going to be very conservative. Uh, there's lots of room to make power, but you can't release a thousand horsepower vehicle as a manufacturer. So that's up to us to turn it into that. So let's talk about what we did. Uh, the very first most important thing is we took the Whipple and sent it off to Jokers for their port job. Very big gains there. The next thing that we did are a set of long tube headers. Uh, and probably just as important as the porting on the blower is we upgraded the fuel system. This allows us to run full E85, but unlike Mustangs and other vehicles that don't support flex fuel, the F-150 does support flex fuel. So we're able to produce a power at our tune that is a full flex from 93 octane all the way up to E85. And we're gonna step you through that process and the power that it made here. The gains, of course, are from tuning alone, mostly, but we're also getting more RPM out of it. Um, the factory uh, setup pulled to 6,500. We pulled on this pull all the way up to 7,500, and it made peak power at 7,000 RPM. A lot of people wonder if that's safe, totally safe. We can go even higher than that, and we do on these uh, setups. Don't forget, the 21 Plus F-150 has a Gen 4 Coyote in it, and I'll tell you what, it's very impressive. Uh, and there's gonna be a lot more coming. We've got a built one coming. Uh, the Gen 4 is just taking things to the next level, and these dino grass prove it. Now, this setup was on a 3.75 pulley on straight 93 octane. The next step for us was to slowly feed it E85 and work out our flex fuel tune all the way up to E80. Let's go ahead and check that out. It's no secret that E85 is the magic fuel and man, does it make power. On the same exact pulley, not only did it pick up, let's see, roughly, at various points in the graph, it picked up 25 to 30 horsepower, but way up here, you're talking, what is that, uh, 65 horsepower. And that is because of things like knock and how much timing you can run and, and, and all that. Obviously, once we add some more boost, it's gonna pick up a lot more horsepower. And guess what? That's what we did next. Let's check it out. Well, look at how much of a difference a pulley makes. We went from a 3.75 pulley to a 
0.25, and that added about four pounds of boost and nearly, uh, well, peak power just under 90 horsepower, but as you can see, the curve uh, rolls over just a hair up top on the higher power pull. If we pull back to 7,000 RPM, you're talking it went from 675 to 778, over 100 horsepower at the wheels. So at 793 at the wheels, this thing has to be making 900 to 1,000 at the crank. And you have to ask yourself, what's the limit? We don't know, but it's much higher than this. We're limited to the six rib pulley. Um, this is a daily driver, not a race truck. As you can see, it's a beautiful showpiece, but I'll tell you what, I'm sure it's gonna be insane, and we're gonna find out right now, because I'm gonna take it out right on our street out front and do a zero to 60 draggy for you guys. All right, we're in Robert Lemus's Shelby F-150 with a Whipple on it, man. This thing, stock, these things are awesome, but, you know, there's always more on the table, of course. A truck like this, dyno's anywhere between 540 and 550 at the wheels. We did a fuel system, pulley, our custom tune, and this bad boy is making 800 wheel horsepower on E85. And it drives absolutely phenomenal. That's the bigger news. Uh, this thing drives almost better than any Mustang we've tuned. It's just phenomenal. I'm a huge fan of the 21 F-150s. What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn around here and do a zero to 60 hit for you. I cannot tell you how much fun that truck is to drive. So awesome that I went ahead and bought a much cheaper version of it sitting here right behind me. We have so many F-150s coming through the shop. You know, we talk about GT500, Mustang GT, Mach 1s, but we have just as many F-150s coming through. Almost all of them are getting Whipples. Um, and guess what? I decided I wanted one too. So right now we're just doing NA development on this vehicle, but in a couple weeks, it's gonna get a Whipple and we're gonna take this truck and follow it through the whole entire process, just like we did with my GT500, so you guys can learn and we can develop some of the best tunes out there. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, share it with your friends, like it, and we'll see you on the next one.